what would you say were the lessons learned or applicable to today from the smallpox uh, epidemic? Um, I think some, one, one of probably the best um, lesson is to realize that at no point are you ever going to be completely prepared for catastrophe. So even though there was an outbreak in 1901, people didn't necessarily run to get vaccinated, and that meant a much bigger outbreak in 1902. But it was um, the last smallpox epidemic in Cleveland, oh. 1902. And that's partly because public officials here in Cleveland and doctors and members of the medical community, but also the public at large, really pulled together to work to get the word out about vaccines and to figure out how to stop the infection from, from spreading home to home. We like to think that doctors stop disease, but in fact it takes everybody in a community to stop disease. Oh, okay. And it's a, it's, a, it's a burden that not just a doctor can bear. It has to be people who are doing public outreach, it has to be teachers and parents and, and children themselves. Doctors tend to show up when it's already gone wrong. Right? They're the ones who are providing care and hospitals and treatment and doing research and etc. But in terms of the public health only works if the public is on board with health. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the public, it's the community that is the most important aspect of health. Because if you don't have community health, you don't have the support. And if you don't have the support, you don't have much else.